My name is Phil Enquist, and I'm a partner with Skidmore Owings & Merrill, which is a deeply rooted design firm here in the city, but we're a global firm. And I've been running the urban design and planning practice for the firm for quite a long time now, uh, the last 20 years. The city was very interested in the growth of Shanghai, jumping that part of the river and developing Chongming Island, which has been used mostly for uh, farming. And there was a real development mission. Uh, they wanted this to be either home for the new Disney or they wanted new R&D manufacturing facilities. They, they saw this as uh, the new wave of growth for Shanghai. We went over to the island and I was struck by how beautiful it was, how agriculturally based it was. It was all about food. It was all about growing food and the villages were tied to the farm fields and it was clearly a viable use to support a city of 17 million people. We decided, and this was quite early in the game of environmental planning to base the vision of the island around ecology and around food growing. And we told the government that the job base was really agriculture. The job base was not future manufacturing. A couple of uh, things from a transportation standpoint, because it was an island project, we were very interested in local transportation systems. So Shanghai happened to be one of the biggest manufacturers of electric bikes in the world. And we thought that there could be a whole electric car strategy, car and bicycle strategy for the island that really moved the whole individual car transportation system away from fossil fuels to electricity. I think what we're all realizing is these problems that are so critical today, climate change, carbon emissions, uh, the health of our ecosystems, that we all have to think bigger. And it requires us to team in, in more innovative ways, to include science with design, to include economists with design, to get beyond defining a design problem in a traditional way. We've been working with climatologists, we've been working with ecologists uh, for years now, helping us define solutions that are, that are deeper than we would have been able to define on our own. And I think that the building industry has to think this way. We have to team in much more innovative ways to solve problems that are far, far bigger than us. Click to subscribe and see more at BuiltWorlds.com.